four years ago, a right wing blogger who loves to share just how bigoted he is, his name is Theodore Beale, raised over a million dollars to put out a racist superhero movie. Now that movie never came to fruition. And it's because of the people he decided to work with. Today, the movie is in ruins, in fact, due to a massive scam that completely derailed his project. Now, everyone, strap right in because you're about to enjoy a fantastic story involving a right winger on a mission to put out toxic poison. And he was stopped by someone who might even be more toxic than he is. Now, Theodore Beale, who goes by the alias Vox Day, has made a career off of being a not so great person. He's pretty unsavory. Beale has praised racially motivated acts of terror and railed against multiracial societies. On January 6th, for instance, he wrote, import the third worlders, then relax and enjoy the inevitable child rape that accompanies the descent into third world society. Beale also told the author John Brown in 2015, that black men are 500 times more likely to possess a gene variant that is linked to violence and aggression than white American men, which of course is not true. But he's dabbling in that you know, disgusting bigotry, that's what he does. Beale also said that women shouldn't have the right to vote because they are significantly inclined to vote for whomever they'd rather have sex with, although he used different language. And that society is harmed when women are educated beyond high school. Now, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but there haven't been too many presidential candidates in US history that women are dying to have sex with. But nonetheless, I'll I'll continue, I'll continue. Now in 2019, Beale asked his followers uh, who call themselves his minions, seems like uh, they've got a healthy relationship with this guy, uh, to help crowdfund his idea for a superhero movie. Now the film would be called Rebels Run, starring Rebel, a character co-created by Beale. In fact, this is what the character looks like. Obviously, you can see the Confederate flag you know, decorations on her corset. Um, and as for the film's plot, Rebel was going to be hunted down by a global police force hell bent on silencing conservative voices. Beale's supporters easily surpassed the fundraising goal of $750,000 that he needed to essentially produce this film. But he not only surpassed it, he was able to raise a million dollars for it. Now, what did he do with all that money? Beale's history of racism could have made it difficult for Rebels Run, which stars a character sometimes depicted in a Confederate flag bustier, to find traditional financing. Given that track record, he instead turned to Utah-based Ohana Capital Financial, a business aimed at customers that would struggle to get money elsewhere. So Ohana is, or Ohana Financial was founded by a guy named James Wolfgram, who's a self-described crypto billionaire. Remember that name. Wolfgram gladly accepted Beale's crowdfunding money. And you can understand why as I give you more details. And he said that he would hold the money in escrow in advance of future financing for the film. Now, Wolfgram actually lied about his wealth and he lied about other things as well. He is no billionaire. To gain trust with victims and attract them to his businesses, Wolfgram used images of cryptocurrency wallets holding millions of dollars worth crypto worth of cryptocurrency, a suitcase full of cash and social media posts of expensive sports cars Wolfgram claimed to own. However, some of those images were believed to have been taken from websites and social media feeds of others. If you might suspect that someone's a scammer, Just do a reverse image search, I'm sure other things will come up. Now, Wolfgram had some pretty sinister intentions for the million dollars that had been raised for this film. Unbeknownst to Beale and his supporters, an indictment alleges that Wolfgram was deeply in debt to one of his business's other clients. The client had paid Ohana more than $4 million in September of 2020, several months into the COVID-19 pandemic, as part of what was meant to be a payment to a Chinese manufacturer of personal protective equipment. Instead of carrying out the transaction, prosecutors are alleging that Wolfgram spent the millions on his own unrelated business issues. So Wolfgram allegedly used the money from Rebels Run to basically buy that personal protective equipment, okay? 
Beale soon became suspicious of Wolf Graham and continued, uh, or I should say, contacted the FBI. And uh, that's when the FBI did look into it. And now Wolf Graham faces four counts of wire fraud. The film's investors may be able to recoup some of that money, but honestly, that question remains unclear. Exactly. Jenk, go ahead. Okay, so I love every part of this story. Um, so uh, they're like, well, well, crypto, that's the real way to go. Hashtag freedom. Let's try to trust a crypto bro that we saw online. Because we don't need no stinking regulation. The regulations from the government, man. We don't want a government regulation to protect us. We'll just give it to a crypto bro that, yeah. Oh no, he stole it. Oh no, what do we do now? Oh, let's go run to the FBI. <laughs> No, wait, I, I thought the FBI was uh, planting things and terrible and deep state and all that stuff. What happened? But when you get your money stolen, all of a sudden, FBI, please help me, right? Uh, all of a sudden, when deregulation costs you a million bucks, you're like, please regulate government. I'm coming to you for help. Please, government. Okay. So, uh, but let's keep going. So, this guy uh, says, that blacks are five times more likely to be violent. Okay, he calls uh, he called a black author a half savage. You get more likely to be violent. It's a Confederate hero. I know. The <laughs> Confederates are the ones that did slavery. You know, the whippings, the lynchings, the rape, the murder, mm -hmm. the theft of children, and and selling children on an open market. Those guys in this racist mind are not the violent ones. The victims of that of slavery and the lynchings, they're the violent ones, which is like textbook racism, textbook. And let's note, by the way, that there's of course nothing creative about this project at all. They're right wingers. It's nearly impossible for them to be creative. That character is just Daisy Duke from Dukes of Hazzard. Just keep it real, right? And it's a bunch of like pervy 80 year old men going, oh, I've always been in trouble with the law. <laughs> a bunch of good old boys. And so they see Daisy Duke again. They're like, oh, yeah, here, take my money. I want that. I like that. Okay. Well, now your money's gone. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.